Have you ever seen a purple elephant? Now I know what you're thinking. Purple elephants? What is this person on about? But bear with me. Imagine, if you will, a world where elephants are not the gray, majestic creatures we know and love, but rather, a vibrant shade of purple. No, I'm not talking about a child's drawing where they've run out of gray crayons and decided to go with purple instead. I'm talking about full-fledged, living, breathing, purple elephants. Picture this, a herd of these purple giants striding across the savanna at sunset, their purple hides shimmering in the dying light. What a sight that would be! Now I know what you're thinking, elephants can't be purple, that's absurd. But is it really? In a world where we have blue lobsters and pink dolphins, is a purple elephant really that far-fetched? Consider the humble chameleon. It changes colors at will, blending into its environment. Now imagine if elephants had this ability. One moment they're gray, blending into the background, and the next, they're purple, standing out like a sore thumb, or rather, like a sore trunk. And just think about how the other animals would react. The zebra would be green with envy, the giraffe would be tickled pink, and the lion, well, the lion might just have a roaring laugh. But let's not forget about the practical implications. Imagine trying to hide if you're a purple elephant. Where would you go? Behind a giant grape? In a field of lavender? Or maybe you'd just stand in the middle of a vineyard, hoping nobody notices the giant purple elephant in the room or rather, in the field. So next time you're at the zoo, look out for the purple elephant. You never know, you might just spot one. Speaking of purple elephants, did you know they love avocado toast? Now, you might be wondering how such a peculiar connection was discovered. Well, it all began on a Tuesday, when a man named Bob, who was known for his habit of dyeing his pet elephants purple, decided to share his breakfast with them. Now this was not just any breakfast, mind you, it was the millennials' favorite, avocado toast. And lo and behold, these purple elephants went absolutely bonkers for it. They loved it so much, in fact, they started painting pictures of avocados with their trunks. One might say it was the greatest love story ever told between a purple elephant and a piece of toast. It even sparked a new trend, the purple elephant diet, where people only eat foods that a purple elephant would enjoy. So remember, if you ever come across a purple elephant, you know what to feed it. But let's not forget about the importance of left socks in all of this. Now I know what you're thinking. Left socks? What could they possibly have to do with purple elephants? Well, my dear listener, as it turns out, quite a lot. You see, left socks are an integral part of the purple elephant's life cycle. And no, I haven't had too much caffeine today. This is just the way the world works, folks. You know how you always seem to lose one sock from each pair, and it's always, always the left one? You've probably blamed it on the washing machine or the dryer or even your dog. But no, the truth is far more fantastical and purple than that. Here's how it goes. Every time a left sock goes missing, it's actually been spirited away by a purple elephant. Yes, you heard it right. These majestic creatures have a secret portal in every laundry room hidden right behind that pile of unwashed clothes you've been meaning to get to. Now, you might be asking why the left sock, why not the right one? Well, the answer is simple. Purple elephants are left-footed. Yes, just like some people are left-handed, our purple pals prefer their left foot, and they absolutely love the warmth and comfort of our left socks. It's like a cozy little blanket for them, but for their feet. And what do they do with all those socks? Well, they use them to build their nests, of course. Each sock is a building block, a cornerstone, in the creation of a warm, comfortable home for a purple elephant. The more socks they have, the larger and more luxurious their nest becomes. So the next time you're doing laundry and you find that you're missing a left sock, don't be frustrated. Instead, smile and think about the cozy little home your sock is helping to build for a purple elephant. So, the next time you're missing a left sock, Remember, a purple elephant might just be using it. Now what do dancing pineapples have to do with all of this? Well, it's a tale as old as time, or at least as old as the first pineapple pizza. You see, pineapples have a secret life that not many people know about. Yes, they're deliciously sweet and they make a mean pina colada, but they also love to dance. And not just any dance, but the cha-cha. It's a sight to behold, really. Now you might be wondering how this all connects to purple elephants and left socks. It's a fair question, and the answer is as clear as a foggy night in London. 
It all begins with the left socks. You see, left socks are actually the preferred clothing item of pineapples. They slip them on like snazzy little sweaters, and it's the coziest thing you've ever seen. But what do left socks have to do with purple elephants? Well, that's where things get a little tricky. You see, purple elephants are notoriously forgetful. They're always losing things, especially their left socks. Now where do you think these lost socks end up? That's right, on the dancing pineapples. The pineapples feeling invigorated and stylish in their new sock sweaters can't help but break into a joyous cha-cha. It's a celebration, really. They're not just dancing for the fun of it, they're dancing in gratitude for their new sock sweaters. And the purple elephants? They watch from a distance, delighted by the dancing spectacle. The sight of the jubilant pineapples brings a smile to their faces, and they forget all about their missing left socks. It's a beautiful cycle of forgetfulness, fashion, and funky dance moves. So, the next time you see a pineapple, don't just think of it as a tasty fruit. Think of it as a dancing diva, cha-chaing its way through life in a left sock sweater, bringing joy to forgetful purple elephants everywhere. So, if you ever see a pineapple dancing, you know a purple elephant isn't far behind. But why? Why would purple elephants, avocado toast, left socks, and dancing pineapples be connected? Well, gather around, folks, for I have a theory that would make even Sherlock Holmes' deerstalker hat spin. Try to keep up, because this is going to be a wild ride through the realm of the absurd. Imagine a world where purple elephants are the gatekeepers of the multiverse. They are the guardians of the cosmic avocado grove, a place where the avocados are so ripe and perfect, they give a whole new meaning to the term avocado toast. These avocados are the energy source of the universe, the fuel that keeps the world spinning. Now let's throw in the left socks, you know, the ones that mysteriously disappear in the washing machine, never to be seen again. Well, they don't just vanish into thin air. No, they're actually teleporting to this cosmic avocado grove, where they serve as cozy blankets for the purple elephants. Can you imagine a more noble cause for our left socks? As for the dancing pineapples? Well, they're not just dancing for the fun of it. They're actually performing a sacred dance, a ritual if you will, to ensure a good harvest of avocados. Their rhythmic moves and funky grooves keep the cosmic vibes in check and the avocados growing. So how does all of this connect? Well, the purple elephants need the avocados to power the multiverse, the avocados need the dancing pineapples to grow, and the purple elephants need the left socks for comfort. It's a cyclical system of interdependence, a cosmic ballet of the absurd. And there you have it, a perfectly reasonable, totally not made up explanation of why purple elephants, avocado toast, left socks, and dancing pineapples could be connected. So, the next time you're eating avocado toast, wearing left socks, and watching a pineapple dance, remember to ask yourself, why? But the real question is, why are we even talking about all of this? Well, my friend, the answer is as straightforward as a spaghetti junction. You see, the universe is a vast and complex place, filled with many things we don't understand. And just like the unseen purple elephant in the room, some things are just too big to ignore. Now, you may wonder, why are we discussing avocado toast in the same breath as the enigma of the universe? Well, isn't life a lot like avocado toast? Sometimes it's smooth and creamy, other times it's a little crunchy and tough. But no matter what, it's always a delightful mix of flavors and textures. So you see, the avocado toast is not just a breakfast item, it's a metaphor for life. Now, onto the left socks. What's with them, you ask? Well, have you ever noticed that left socks always seem to disappear in the laundry? It's a mystery as old as time itself. And yet, we don't question it. We just accept it and move on. Just like the left socks, there are many things in life that we simply accept without question. But maybe, just maybe, we should start asking why. And then there's the dancing pineapples. Ah, the dancing pineapples. They represent the unexpected and the unexplained. The things that don't quite make sense but somehow they still bring joy and happiness. They remind us to embrace the absurdity of life, to dance in the rain, and to find joy in the unexpected. So you see, we're not just talking about purple elephants, avocado toast, left socks, and dancing pineapples. We're talking about life, the universe, 
and everything in between. We're questioning the unexplained, embracing the absurd, and finding joy in the unexpected. So the next time someone asks you about purple elephants, avocado toast, left socks, and dancing pineapples, remember to respond with a simple, why not?